Hello Commanders, I'm Commander Gremlin Spider, and in today's video we're going to talk about scanning systems and mapping planets. First thing you need to know is there's two different modes you can be in. First one is combat mode, which is this mode, and then we're going to go into analysis mode. This is the mode you need to be in anytime you're going to do anything exploration related, such as scanning a system or mapping planets. Alright, so what we're doing here is we're getting ready to go into a new system no one's ever been to, and I'm going to take you step by step through each process that you need to do in order to successfully scan and uh, map a planet in that system. Alright, so I said we're going into a system where uh, no one's ever turned the data in or no one's been before, and how do I know that? Well, the way I know that is when we come in, if you look down at the radar, there's nothing there. Within a couple of seconds, our ship's going to do a quick scan, and the sun will show up. Looks like a planet's also showed up as well with that quick scan. I'm not sure what the range is on that scan. It's not very far, though. So that means that planet's quite close to that sun. What we're going to do now is I'm activating my discovery scanner. We call it honking. There's that honk noise. And um, now we know there's 40 bodies in this, including the sun that we just hit. So we have seven suns and two planets so far. So nine out of the 40 have been discovered. So we're going to go ahead and look at our, our uh, system map. So looking in the system map, all we can see is just those nine. Anytime, you, anytime the ship comes in, it'll always bring up every planet. It'll also bring up any Lagrange clouds that might be in. Uh, what we're going to do now is going to go into the full spectrum scanner. That's going to be our next thing. All right, what we're going to do is get ready to activate the full spectrum scanner. I'm not sure why I'm looking over here right now. I don't remember what that was for. But um, we'll go ahead and pull that up. All right. Now, uh, what, is, what is this showing us? Uh, so this, this little slider down here is going to show us what kind of planets are in this system right off the bat. So we got some high metal content, some icy bodies, a water world, and some gas giants. And depending on where that gas giant lands in that slider is what type of gas giant it is. So... Um, Looks like we got 9 out of 40. There's 43 signals detected, so that means there's some uh, asteroid belts in there as well. That's what the two white dots are. So basically, you just go over these little areas that are that are flashing, and you scroll your scanner across until it goes white, and then zoom in, and zoom in, and here's your planet. Here's a gas giant with water-based life. Looks like that's the only one here, as the little squiggly line is now gone. And so basically, you're just gonna you're gonna tune in. That's your tuner. You're going to tune in to, uh, to these areas, try to pinpoint them, and then you just zoom in on them. And so uh, here we go with uh, this looks like it's just a regular rocky body. And it gives you all the information you want to know about the rocky body, including the distance on that left-hand side there. It tells you how far it is from the, uh, from the star where you, where you come in. So you can automatically tell how far away this particular planet is. Now every time you do this, every time you zoom in on a planet like that and you get all that information, it will then show up in your system map as, as uh, it'll show up on, you know how it was all blank, will show up there. But we're going to go ahead and finish scanning the whole system before we look over there again. So this, now that that's stopped blinking, that means all the stuff's been discovered there, it's time to move on to the next one. And again, you're going to zoom in. Oh wow, here's a, uh, here's a cool icy body with some rings. Another icy body. Uh, the other good thing about this, this is also going to tell you if there's any geological, human, or biological uh, signs on the planet. So, see how it says scanning up in the top right? Locations, none. If there was geologicals, biologicals, or anything like that, it would tell you how many there are. So, and then it will tell you if it's geologicals, it will tell you what type of geological, like what type of geysers. Like this one here, when it scans like this, see how it's taking a while to scan? When it does this, that means you're going to have geologicals on the planet. It doesn't do it for human and biological. For some reason, when it's human and biological, it, it shows you instantly how many they are. But uh, for some reason, with geologicals, it takes a little while. So let this spin for a, couple, for a couple of seconds, and it'll tell us how many geological sites there are on the planet. And it should be any second. Here we go, 23. And it looks like there's silicate vapor geysers. So 23 areas on this planet will show up as, we'll, we'll have geyser sites. Now you can automatically go to those geyser sites, fly towards the planet, and when you get close enough, they'll pop up in your, uh, your left-hand uh, screen there, and you can actually um, plot your course to them. You can actually select them as a target and fly right to it instead of having to find geysers the old-fashioned way. Here's our water world, a ringed water world. That's pretty cool. Those are always neat. We're going to go, that's the planet we're going to map 
once we get done with all of this scanning. Uh, I'm going to show you how to map that particular planet, especially since it has rings. That's good because you can also map rings. So basically the rest of this is we're just going to go and do what, uh, what you've been seeing. Just uh, find it and uh, zoom in on it. Now what this is doing, okay, so what are we doing here? What exactly are we doing here? So if you're returning to the game after a while, let's say you've been gone six, maybe a year, six months to a year, um, exploration has changed exponentially. It's become much easier uh, to to do it and make money on it. And uh, the values have gone up a little bit too on, most, on some of the planets. So basically what we're doing is the equivalent of when you used to fly to to a planet to scan the planet in order to get credit for that you knew you know when you'd come in you would honk and it would tell you okay you have this many or it would it would uh, you could look at that panel and say and see what was here but in order to get credit for it you had to actually fly to each individual planet and scan it you don't have to do that anymore this is the exact same thing you're doing right here this is the equivalent of that by scanning it or by uh, zooming in on it like this that's the equivalent of flying to the planet and scanning it so essentially it takes me what would have taken me hours 40 bodies it would have taken me hours to scan that many i'm already i only have 10 left to do and we've been at this for maybe four minutes so far i think it takes me a total of about seven minutes to scan this entire system this would have taken the old way a couple of hours possibly so may, maybe i'm exaggerating that a little bit maybe it was more like half an hour but still it would take a lot longer than this now um mapping is the new part you can map a planet and what that does is it will actually show you let me let me back up on that where I said it will show you the the geologicals and where they are if you map the planet it will do that now right now it'll tell you how many there are but if you want to know exactly where they are you have to go and map a planet and we'll show you how to do it with that water world here in just a just a couple of minutes so but yeah so it's become a lot easier to to map an entire system uh, it takes mere minutes compared to the hours it used to take if you really wanted to spend some time doing it. So, so in my opinion, this is really up the game on exploration. So you're going to get paid a lot better because you'll sit there and scan a system with 10 planets in it as compared to not doing so. So here we are almost done. This is our last one we're going to scan and then we will have a complete scan of the entire system. system. Scan complete. And this last one it looks like it's going to have some geologicals on it. We'll see what we have here. As you can see down the left, it says I have 100% scan. That means I am done scanning. This is the last body. And it looks like it's got eight silicate vapors. I thought, I think that's what that was saying. All right, and that is pretty much how you uh, scan it. Now you can see on our left panel here, everything is there. There's all our, uh, all our planets, all our stars, all our planets. And here you go, now they show up. Now you can see what everything is, you can zoom in on it and find out all the information and all that good stuff. Now we're gonna fly here and we're gonna map this particular planet. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to shoot some probes at this planet and uh, we're going to map 100% of it and it will then, um, if this was a, uh, say a, a rocky body or something like that, that had geologicals, biologicals or something like that on it, it would then tell us exactly where those are located. However, this is just a water world. The reason we're interested in doing this with water world, earth likes, and ammonias is because, first of all, those are planets that are worth a lot of money to begin with. To be the first one to scan it, like this situation, you get an extra bonus since you're the first one to scan it, and you'll get a bonus for being the first one to map it. So that's why we're going to map these worlds that we can't land on. So technically, I'm get, I'm going to make a lot of money off this system simply because I went ahead and scanned everything in it, and um, I'll have the first discovery tag, and then I'll also get the first map tag. As you can see, look at these rings. These rings are really light. You can barely see them. You'd almost run into them if you really weren't looking for them. But uh, this is pretty neat. You can also map rings. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. I'm going to shoot a probe into the rings. And what that'll do is give me any hot spots. If the ring has any hot spots for void opals, alexandrite, or anything like that, this is how you'll find it. You'll shoot that in the ring. 
It'll scan it just like this, and it'll uh, it'll show you if there's any hot spots. Surface However, complete. unfortunately, there are no hot spots in this particular ring. So, but um, okay. So to uh, to do this portion of it, basically, what you want to do is you want to cover the entire planet with these probes. And when you shoot this probe, it's going to have a radius on it. And you'll see that here in a second. The the point of this is basically to to cover um, cover the probes on the planet, and get 100%. On the bottom right, you'll see it says nine probes. That's how many probes I need uh, to shoot. If I shoot less than that, I'll get I'll get an efficiency bonus, which is more money. So if I can map it before I shoot, before I hit nine probes, I'll get an efficiency bonus. So that's basically what I'm gonna try to do here. I usually go off in like um, I don't know what uh, 120 degrees or so to try and get a full mapping. Um, I'm looking at the back of the planet right now, trying to see what it, what my uh, coverage looks like on the back. Let's see here, I've shot seven. Yeah, so here, here I'm looking at the front. So that darkened area is the part that still hasn't been mapped. You only have to hit 90%. Once you hit 90%, it'll give you the whole 100. So I'm going to fire this probe off, hoping that this one is going to give me the last little bit that I need. Let's see here. So I'm at 80, there's the 90, and Surface I go up right to 100%. Complete. Efficiency target target bonus, which means I accomplished my mission. So I've got that plan, I've got that now scanned. Uh, I'm showing you here that there are no there are no um, hot spots, otherwise they would have shown up right up underneath there. So all right, next I'm going to show you what it looks like to have your name on some of this stuff. So now I'm going to get first mapped, first discovered. And I'll show you what that looks like. I have to turn the data in before that shows up. So I'm showing you here that even though I've done all that, my name hasn't shown up on it yet. However, I'm going to go to a system. I'm going to show you a system in my system map that I have done that on and show you what that looks like next. All right, what we have here is a system I found a long time ago. It was uh, pretty much untouched, so I came in, I scanned everything, and this one also happened to have a water world that I uh, went ahead and mapped. So I'm just going to go around and show you. It says uh, first discovered by Gremlin Spotter, and then I'll show you the water world where it says discovered by and mapped by. So again, you get a bonus for having mapped by and discovered by. So there you have it. That's pretty much all there is for it. I appreciate you guys uh, coming out and watching my video, and uh, I hope you guys have a good day. Please like and subscribe. Thank you again for watching the video.